Welcome, 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 welcome to Scary Story. The channel that tells you scary stories. Welcome to a very special episode of Scary Stories. This time we'd like to play some phone calls we got from a viewer who tells us a story of a strange nocturnal dog man. I hope if the viewer is watching that she doesn't mind the visuals I've created because I took some liberties. I have no idea what the caller looks like. So this is just some animation to entertain you while you're listening to her story. I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. So, hi you guys, but, um, I'm sorry, but, um, you know that place where you're between sleep and awake? Well, it's happened to me twice. Once was at my friend Allie's house when I was staying with her, and, um, <clears throat> of course, it, that's another story. But this one happened in my old house. We did recently just moved, so one night I was sitting on the couch, almost, like, really... Sorry about earlier, but let me, I get nervous, so I'm sorry. Let me finish. I don't even want to talk about it, but. So anyways, <clears throat> when I used to live at my friend Allie's house, her house was freaky anyways, but I had an experience. You know that place where you're between sleep and awake, okay? So I'm sitting in the den, and I guess I passed out, but it felt like I was awake, and when I looked next to me, there was this guy sitting there. Like, plain as day, regular, you know, shirt, blue jeans, and he was wearing his hat. <clears throat> and when I looked at him, he looked at me, and his face got real mean. It just looked, I don't know, it looked like it snarled or something. It was just real, ugh. But anyways, and then he started, it looked like he was cursing me out, but nothing was coming out of his mouth. Nothing. It was just complete silence. And that's when I woke up. Well, <clears throat> this is kind of like what happened in my other experience, like, at my new, not my new house, my old house, because we just moved, but I was sitting on the couch watching TV, and I passed out, and <clears throat> it was like I woke up, like in the other one, and when I looked at my front door, like right by my front door, there was this thing sitting there, just this big, why are you even in here? But there was this big thing sitting there, just this, ugh. It looked like a dog, but not, I don't know how to describe it, but let's just say it didn't have pointy ears like everybody says. This thing had sloppy ears. And its nose was kind of, like the snout, it wasn't as long as a German Shepherd's. It was kind of shorter. And the eyes, the eyes is what really freaked me out. They were small. And they looked like they just glowed. It was nothing. There was no pupil. There was nothing. And they were white. And they were tiny. <sighs> and it was just, it was ugly. It was huge. And it was just ugly. And it was black. Ugh. I don't, oh, I don't like talking about that. Ugh. I think I moved out of that place. And anyways, I wanted to get up and run, but I couldn't. It was as, as if my body was just glued down. So I'm staring. So, you know, I'm forced to stare at this thing, and it's staring at me, and it kind of shook its head. I don't know why. And it just started barking at me. It was, you could tell it was barking, but nothing was coming out. Like nothing, just silence. And that's when I must have woken up. And I woke up, and I started screaming. And my mom came downstairs asking me what was wrong. And after a while, I was able to tell her what happened. So her being de so anyways, sorry about that. I've, I guess I must have went over the thing, but I'm. Not, I, but anyways, so her being deep relig religious, better prayer. You know, I was able to calm down, but it must have not have worked because things kept happening. Well, mostly to my mom and to my brother. I mean, she's got a few experiences herself, but that was at JJ's house. Um, but yeah, I could tell you about them. <clears throat> yeah. well, 
I mean, well, mom once woke up and seen a girl standing at the foot of her bed one night. And my brother, he's, he's autistic, severely autistic. And one day, he was sitting down on the chair and he was looking up at the stairs. And his eyes were just so intent on the stairs, like somebody was up there and he just started shaking his head, no, 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 no. Whatever it was must have been telling him, come upstairs, come upstairs, come upstairs. And I guess the thing won because he ended up, after a few minutes, he ended up going up the stairs. And then one night, we never told you about that. But anyways, one night, me and my mom were sitting at the dinner table in the kitchen. We have a little table that goes in the kitchen. Yeah, in the kitchen. And anyways, well, not in the kitchen. I mean, like, there's the dining room and the, not the dining room. It's just, it's right by the kitchen. Yeah, but the table wasn't in the kitchen, James. It was by the, never mind. Sorry, let me finish. Anyways. Me and Mama sitting there, and we're talking, just talking about old stuff. And in mid-conversation, we hear this growl, and it freaked, it just stopped us both dead in our tracks. It just made us both real quiet. I mean, this growl was like nothing we've ever heard before. It didn't sound like a like it didn't sound like a regular dog. We don't have any dogs. It sounded just a mix between a man and a a beast. I that's I don't know. Get out of here. And I thought it was coming from the living room. Mom thought it was coming from the backyard. And it just freaked us out. So but nothing scared me more than that thing. I will call it a thing. I don't even think of a dog. It was just a thing. So, I mean, I hope you guys use this. I hope I'm I'm not I'm not good at telling my my experience. I'm not yeah, I'm not good at putting it. <laughs> but anyways, that's my story. I'm sorry that I'm long winded and I'm not very good at like I said. But um, I hope you guys use it. Or if not, I'm just glad I was able to tell you guys. But anyways, bye. Thank you. Do you have a scary story you want us to read on the show? Just call our voicemail hotline, 804-LA-SCARY. That's 804-537-2279. And now for something completely scary. Bigfoot attacked my tiny house. Scary Stories by Peter Bernard, Volume 1. Now available on Amazon in paperback.